by heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Full-Time Fantasy Show. FullTimeFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Full-Time Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Dr. Roto, get out the insurance cards, get out the copay, the office is open, my friends. All right, you know what I like to do on Wednesdays. I like to go digging into the box scores to see if we can find any nugget that we can use to help us with waivers or finding a guy or playing a guy in DFS, whatever it may be, we are here to do that. Okay, first of all, before I get that, let's take a look at some news and notes. Um see what's going on here. First of all, I'm very upset. Chris Herndon, Chris Herndon injures his hamstring and he's going to probably be out this week. So you've been waiting five weeks for this guy to finally come back. And then when you think he's going to come back, he's not coming back because this could be another two or three weeks. You're you're killing me, kid. You're killing me. Seriously, you're killing me. So, I mean, I, I have Chris Herndon on a bunch of teams I have to decide right now how desperately I want to hold him. I don't feel good about this. Certainly, I didn't want to play him against the Cowboys anyway. But a hamstring could keep him out two or three weeks. I mean, what use is he to me? So I have to really see who's available, who's out there. I mean, I know I have some teams where I have like Dawson Knox and Chris Herndon. I may have to cut Chris Herndon because I'm not cutting Dawson Knox. I'll tell you that right now. All right, Antonio Brown is crazy. Well... They said that they should resign them. Resign them. Uh, no. I don't think they'll ever resign you, dude. Okay, that's news. Bye. Brian Flores says Josh Rosen will start the rest of 2019. And this makes sense. I mean, look, you want to give this guy an opportunity to get some film, see how he does this year. I'm sure they want to trade him in the offseason because they're going to draft Tua. So, look, you know, m- 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 hype him up, get as much as you can, fatten him up and slaughter him like a pig, because that's what's going to happen. Josh Rosen will not be the quarterback in 2020, okay? All right, so let's get back to where we were, to the games of last week. First, let's start out with um, Jacksonville against Carolina. So, DJ Chark and D.D. Westbrook had 11 targets. Leonard Fournette had seven. Chris Conley only had three. Shaughnessy had four. So now that Jeff Swain moves into there, he could get about four targets this week. He's interesting. Pen click on that one. Jeff Swain. Not that I like him, but I'm so desperate. I may have to pick this loser up. Just throwing that out there for you. All right, for the Panthers, Reggie Bonifon, I'm sure he's out there in a bunch of leagues. If you own Christian McCaffrey, you have to get Reggie Bonifon. You do. You have to. And you're going to have to pay up for it. Because you saw that this guy's legit. Now, maybe he doesn't get 25 carries if McCaffrey should get injured, but he's going to get 10 to 15. What's that worth to you? I think it's worth 80 bucks, 90 bucks. You know, probably 10% of your free agent budget. What do you want to be cheap and spend $3 and you're not going to get them and somebody else does and then you have to trade that person for Reggie Bonifant? That's the problem. Right? If somebody else gets him, you're going to have to make a trade for him, and you're not going to want to do that. All right. DJ Moore had eight targets. Christian McCaffrey had nine. Curtis Samuel had six. Samuel did not perform very well, but he still got six. Okay? All right. Let's go back to last Thursday's game. I told you a lot of people don't often do that, but we need to do that here. The Rams, uh, Gerald Everett had 11 targets. 11. Tyler Higbee had three. So, Gerald Everett is a part of this offense. Cooper Cup had 17 targets, okay? So, I'm more concerned about the Gerald Everett targets. That's a whole lot. For Seattle, we'll di- nobody gets a lot of targets in Seattle. Nobody. But I do want to alert your attention to a guy named David Moore. David Moore, to me, is better than Jerron Brown. I think he's on the level of DK Metcalf, except Metcalf is a rookie, so they're going to try to get him more involved. But David Moore is an interesting player to me. I think if you can sneak him for a dollar or two, I would. God forbid there's an injury to Lockett or Metcalf. He is going to be a guy who you'd want to own because maybe he'll get five or six targets there, which for Russell Wilson is a lot. 
because Russell Wilson doesn't throw a lot, right? So that's where we're going to look at it. All right, the Cardinals. Chase Edmonds. I feel the same way about Chase Edmonds as I do about Reggie Bonifant, except with one exception. That Edmonds is better than Reggie Bonifant. Because Edmonds is legit. If David Johnson were to go out tomorrow, I would be happy to start Chase Edmonds. I would start him liberally. Liberally. Okay? So, you want him. I don't like Farrell Cooper. I don't like Trent Sherfeld. I do like Keyshawn Johnson. He had the second most targets last week outside of Larry Fitzgerald. So, if you're, you know, if Christian Kirk is not there, I still think you have to look his way. For the Bengals, you've got Joe Mixon. I think Gio Bernard has value, but only because of, if, God forbid, something happens to Mixon, Bernard has value. But Tyler Boyd's the guy there. I think Auden Tate is interesting. He had six targets. Tate should have been gone already. I mean, I assume that he's gone. But if for some crazy reason he's still out there in your league, I mean, look, I'm not against getting him. I'm not against getting him at all, especially without A.J. Green for another week and John Ross is out. You may need a receiver. And when we're desperate, we do desperate things, right? All right, for the Falcons, Ito Smith had six passing targets and he had five rushes last week. All right, touched the ball 11 times. So there's value there. I'm not a Mohamed Sanu guy. I never have been. But look, you know, if, if a team... Sh- so here's what I've learned, okay? Normally, you don't get a Sanu week and a Hooper week. You get either or. So if a team shuts down Hooper, Sanu does well. If a team shuts, if, if a team doesn't shut down Hooper, then Sanu doesn't do great. So that's how I would look at it. I don't really love Sanu, but I guess he's a guy at the end of your roster. Duke Johnson has to get more involved. I mean, the guy only had 10 touches. He had one reception. It has to be better than that. Kiki Kuti, though, had four targets. So he may be available in leagues out there. I would probably take a good look at him. I've got to think that people caught him a while back thinking that he wasn't going to do anything. All right, the Buccaneers and the Saints. So the Buccaneers, shamefully, where was Mike Evans last week? Seriously. Three targets, no receptions. Chris Godwin had nine targets. Bobo Wilson had two targets, and Mike Evans had three. That's that's how bad it was. So, I mean, Ronald Jones was underappreciated, but he still had 11 touches of the football. So, I mean, if somebody cut Ronald Jones in your league, I might look that way. I might. For the Saints, uh, you, you know, you're looking at Thomas and Kamara. Ted Ginn, come on, he got lucky. He's more lucky than good. I don't really like Josh Hill. I think it's Thomas and Kamara. Cook was in a good spot last week because the Buccaneers are dreadful against the tight end. Dreadful. So, you know, that's why he was a good play. In general, he's not really a good play. Okay? He was just a good play. He's a good play when Drew Brees comes back, but not now. All right, the Vikings. Alexander Madison. Same thing as Chase Edmonds. Same thing as Reggie Bonifant. You want to own him. If Dalvin Cook should get injured, Alexander Madison is going to run for 100 yards every week. I love this guy. All right, for receivers, you want Thielen, you want Cook. I guess you want Diggs. Outside of that, you don't want anything because they don't throw the ball enough. For the Giants, Wayne Gallman is out this week. Saquon Barkley will be out this week. John Hilleman, nine carries, 20 yards. That's what it did last week against the Vikings. Good luck against the Patriots this week. Elijah Penny. I mean, the Giants really shouldn't show up tomorrow. Evan Ingram will be out. Sterling Shepard will be out. I like Darius Slayton. He had five targets last week. And certainly Golden Tate. I assume that Golden Tate is already gone in your league. But Tate is the guy to own. And Rhett Ellison. I mean, I don't really love Rhett Ellison. But you may have to look his way if you are desperate for a play. All right, the Bears and Raiders are both off. So there may be guys that we can get on the cheap this week, but nobody that I'm really... I I think Anthony Miller's the guy that I want to look at. Anthony Miller had seven targets last week. I've been waiting for this all year long. He's a very good player, and he finally saw the football. So he may be out there on waiver wires. Now's the time to grab him, especially when he's not playing this week. For the Raiders, I don't know what to tell you here. You got Darren Waller, Trevor Davis, uh, I don't know, Hunter Renfro, Keelan Doss. Now they bring in Zay Jones. I like Waller. I like Jacobs. I like Tyrell Williams. 
After that, I really don't like anybody else there. It's going to take Zay Jones a month to figure out this offense. So I, you may want to go for him, but you can't spend a lot of money because he's going to be useless for the next few weeks. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, the Jets have Darnold back, but take a look at this guy, Vincent Smith. Pin, pen click there. Vincent Smith. They seem to like this guy. Uh, I don't like Demarius Thomas. I do like, of course, Robbie Anderson. I like Jamison Crowder. Take a look at Vincent Smith, though. He may get more involved. For the Eagles, I don't know what to tell you except this. I would always stash Dallas Goddard. God forbid something happens to Zach Ertz. I think Goddard's a player. And sometimes you've got to be a vulture. You've got to be a fantasy vulture. I'm not telling you to go get Goddard. I'm saying if you are desperate, you have nobody. Goddard could give you two catches for 10 yards. But if Ertz gets hurt, he gets you a whole lot more than that. All right, the Ravens and Steelers. Uh, Willie Sneed got five targets. Marquise Brown, five targets. But they throw the ball to the tight ends, right? Mark Andrews, seven. Hayden Hurst, four. That's what they, Nick Boyle, two. That's what they do. For the Steelers, you know that James Washington is injured. I see, you know, Jalen Samuels is injured. Benny Snell, I mean, that Benny Snell is going to get option, got opportunities. James Conner is going to get about 15 to 20 carries. I've got to think Benny Snell gets five, right? Five touches of the football. So if you're really desperate for a running back like many of us are, I guess you can look Benny Snell's way. It's not going to be sexy, but it will be done. All right, the Bills and Titans. You know, the Bills are on bye this week, so once again, we can get some cheap plays. Uh, Duke Williams had four targets last week with Zay Jones out. He is the third receiver after John Brown and Cole Beasley. Um, Isaiah McKenzie is, is, is capable of a big play. Those are the only two guys I want there. For the Titans, I, can, I mean, look, I, I like A.J. Brown, but I don't know. After that, is there anybody you really want outside of Derrick Henry? I just want to cut Deion Lewis. That guy is boopoo on a stick. All right, the Patriots and Redskins. If there's anybody in the Redskins that you want to pick up this week, run. Seriously, run. I mean, McLaurin's got to be on a team, and Chris Thompson's got to be on a team, and nobody else is really worth owning. For the Patriots, Brandon Bolden, maybe? I don't know, but I mean, I've got to think that if Rex Burkhead is back, you don't see Brandon Bolden. So don't spend more than a dollar on this guy on waiver wire. Matt Lacoste and Ryan Izzo, though, are the tight ends. Ben Watson is gone. So if you were holding Ben Watson, now might be a really good time to get rid of him because he will be doing nothing. All right. Broncos and the Chargers. I don't want anybody on the Broncos outside of Lindsey, Freeman, Sutton, Sanders. That's it. And I've got to believe all those guys are owned, so they don't really help us that much. For the Chargers, this team is so confusing. I mean, Mike Williams, I, I, I can't believe he's out there, but I think Mike Williams is a guy that we could start looking to for production, right? I think Mike Williams is, is on to something there. He's too good. He's too good not to find the end zone. That's my opinion. He's too good not to find the end zone. So keep your eyeballs on him. Uh, by the way, for the Miami Dolphins, take a look at Albert Wilson and maybe Mark Walton. Kalen Balish stinks. Really does. All right. For the Packers, Tra Carson had some opportunity because Jamal Williams was out. Everybody thought Dexter Williams might be in, but Dexter Williams didn't do anything. I mean, Tra Carson, whatever. He's, he's nothing with nothing. I, I wouldn't really invest there. For the Cowboys, you know who they are. They Cooper, Gallup, Cobb, Witten, bingo. I, there's nobody else that, that really does anything for us. Nobody else that's super special. Those guys, I mean, I love Gallup. So if you can make a trade for Gallup, I absolutely would. I think he's a guy that most people don't realize how good he truly is. And they will soon. If they don't, they will soon. All right. For the Colts. Uh, let's see. You know, you got a lot of these receivers. Pascal and Kane and Rodgers and Paris Campbell's hurt. I don't like any of them. I like Jack Doyle a little bit. I don't really like Ebron. I never really liked Ebron. He was good with last year. But, you know, outside of that, I, I like Jordan Wilkins a little bit. I like stashing Jordan Wilkins. Because God for, Mar Marlon Mack has runs like 25 times a game. If he should get hurt, Jordan Wilkins gets the opportunity. So I like him. I think Byron Pringle for the Chiefs is a good play. 
Sammy Watkins is not healthy. Let me just share that with you right now. Sammy Watkins, not healthy. Robinson and Hardman are more like spot players. I didn't really know Byron Pringle. The only Pringles I knew were potato chips. But this guy is legit. So, I mean, he's had, he's had a couple of good weeks. So, let, we, got, we can't ignore him. I'm not going to overspend on him. But we certainly can't ignore him. The Lions were also on by last week. Let me throw out a guy to you, J.D. McKissick. I thought he looked really good. I thought he looked better than Ty Johnson. Just throwing that out there. All right, Cleveland, San Francisco. For Cleveland, I guess you can invest in Antonio Callaway. Freddie Kitchen said that he's going to stick with him. I don't know why. The guy's terrible. Uh, I don't like Ricky Seals-Jones. I really like Rashad Higgins. I want this guy to play because I think he's a very good player when, he, when and if he returns. For the 49ers, I want to talk about things here. Raheem Mostert, you can't cut him. Because if there's an injury to Brider or Coleman, he's useful. So I know he didn't do much, but you can't cut him. You can't cut Marquise Goodwin either, but I am cutting Dante Pettis. I am admitting this. I'm cutting Dante Pettis. I can't watch it anymore. It's killing me. It is. It's killing me. Or he's killing me. All right, but right now it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Remember, check out FullTimeFantasy.com, enter the promo code ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months, and check out SI.com backslash fantasy. My start sit for week six will be up there later today. This is Dr. Roto saying be well and take care. Thanks for listening to Full Time Fantasy. There's never been a better time to join and go full time. Visit FullTimeFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time.